Okay, so now we're gonna zero our Z values for these two different tools, our facing tool and our half inch end mill. We will, they'll both be able to operate off the same X and Y zero coordinates that we just set with our edge finder. So let's go through that process. So we'll go to our first one, T5. In the MDI? Yep. Okay. And we're going to tool, explain to us why we're going to tool five, Darren. So that is the first tool we have set in our carousel yep. that we need to work with. Okay. So we'll go to that and then we can set our Z's off of that. Great. So MO6 is our tool change command. We're going to cycle start. Notice it grabbed tool number five out of there. That's our facer. Aaron's just gonna walk it over here up above the part. Handle jogging again. Man, so this is a weird piece because it's a it's got a big old chunk on the top of it, so we're gonna zero and off. Angle yes, and that's at an angle. So we need to zero off the highest point of yep. this part. Anytime you mill something, you need to set your Z off the highest point, or else you risk crashing into it. Darren's just creeping his facing tool down here toward the part. And when he feels a little friction between that paper and that part, he'll know he's at his zero point for the Z. And then we just do a tool measure offset. All right. And then sometimes it'll ask you if that's correct. You go Y for yes. Wait, where'd you hit the Y? Right here. Oh, okay, Y for yes. All right. Yep. And then we can go to our next tool. Okay, so we're back in MDI here. Doing another tool change command, altering the code. So that one gets put away. Same procedure again. It's just in handle jog mode again. Here's that handle jog button again that he pressed in case you're wondering where that was. We're really loving the sound of the band saw in the background here. Next, we just need to pull up the code and run the run the program. Yep. 